Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a beginner's guide to Southwest Florida. I'm basically going to show you everything you need to know about the game on a beginner's level. I'm not going to go into too much detail and different things. I'm going to go through as much as I can. There'll be things that I miss and there'll be things that I, you know, absolutely nail it. So if you do have any questions before this starts, please do comment them down below and other people will answer your questions and I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. Before we do that though, please do consider subscribing. If you're just getting into Southwest Florida, that's why you're here, and maybe you'll go on to enjoy this game, then please do subscribe. Just because I'm a channel who uploads daily, daily Southwest Florida content for the time being. And I'm always making fun videos, information videos, and role plays. So it'd really help me out if you could just subscribe. Also, feel free to join my Discord server. You can also ask me questions there. And you can join that at discord.gg slash cam. That's discord.gg slash k-a-m. All right, cool. So let's get started with this. Okay, so I've actually just logged into an alt account just because I want to be at the same level as you so I can guide you through. I don't want it to be unfair because on my other account, on my main account, I have game passes, loads of money, loads of cars. And it's going to be difficult to explain, like, beginner's things, if that makes sense. Okay, so you've just spawned in in Southwest Florida. Here we are. And I'm sure you can acknowledge that the map seems very intimidating it's very big you know i mean you can't even see down there you can't see down there trust me the map's huge and it's something that you're going to get used to over time probably not going to go through the entire map with you but you'll get used to it and i'll show you how to navigate the map easier obviously you've just spawned in you have no idea what you're doing i can help you so first of all let's just talk about what south of florida is if you're very new to it basically the game is a role play game uh the servers with up to 50 people you can go in there you can afk farm earn money buy cars you can do role plays with your houses that you can get you can buy new cars there's so much things you can do i mean i can't even summarize it but in a nutshell the game is a role play game now you're probably uh, a bit confused on how you can spawn a car Maybe you can buy more cars. Well, first of all, what you're going to do is the obvious. Go on the left, click the little car icon, and you're going to be wondering, where are all my cars? Well, what you need to do is you need to go to the hatchback section, and there'll be your 2019 Mazda 3. Now, this is your first vehicle you'll ever get. You can't sell this vehicle or do anything with it. It's just yours forever. So, once you're in, obviously, press F, and then that will turn on your vehicle. You'll probably be wondering... Why can't I move forward? Why can't I reverse? Well, what you need to do is press E once, and you're going to start rolling, and then you'll be able to turn around, so W, A, S, and D to obviously move around. Um, and then something that people get confused on is how do you reverse? Well, you can't hold S. That just breaks you. You've got to tap Q to go into idle, and then Q again, and then hold W, and that will put you into reverse. It takes a bit of getting used to, but you'll get used to it. So... What I like to do is just say double tap E to go forward, double tap Q to go backwards, so I'll double tap E and now I'll be able to, be able to hold W and go forward. So of course you've got your car now, and you're probably going to want to buy another car. Because I mean this car's pretty slow, it's pretty trash. Well, the best way to find things is by going to settings on the left, click the little gear icon, and click location markers enabled. And as you can see, you can see all the different names of things on the map, and this is going to help you so much as a beginner. Now, because I'm on an alt, I'm not actually able to make it daytime, so it's probably going to be dark, but it shouldn't really affect this tutorial. So, as we're driving down into the main area, which is called Bontia Springs, you can see all the different names of things. So, Stod Rack is where you can fill up your vehicle, and then the dealership is in yellow just over there. Now, an easier way to get around to different places, maybe try and get yourself used to the map first, but if you just want to get to the dealership straight away upon spawning in to get a new car, you'd start with $25,000, just be aware of that, alright? So you can't buy the best car, you can't buy a Lambo, you can't buy a Bugatti or a Tesla, but you can buy some decent car. If you want to teleport over to the dealership, then you can just change team. I'll get into that in just a little bit. So I'm just going to drive over to the dealership. So I'm not going to show you the way there. I'm not going to be like, yo, follow this path or anything. Literally just turn on that little location mark thing. You'll be able to find it. So the dealership is here. I'm not going to go into too much detail on all the other jobs. I'm kind of just going to go into detail on how to spawn a car in. How to start making money. And, you know, how to basically function in the game. So here we are over here. The dealership. I can basically just go inside of the dealership and purchase a car. Here we are at the dealership. Ignore my driving. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So here we are. We've arrived at the dealership. I'm basically going to go inside the dealership, come up to this little green thing, and here we go, this giant thing pops up on my screen, and I can kind of scroll through any car I want. I've made a video going through good cars under $100,000, so if you want to check that out, feel free to check that out. So I guess I could buy the Toyota Corolla, I think that is, uh, for 23 k 
and I'm left with 1.5k now, so that's just a new car added to my collection. I'll go to hatchback, and there it is. This car won't be much better, but I mean, it's another car. Now, as it turns night, uh, if you look here, it says auto. Now, you can actually turn your lights on and off with L, so if you just click L, it turns your lights on, L again, and it turns them off. And then you can put it onto auto, and then the, the game will automatically turn your lights on and off when it's like night and stuff. So that's kind of all you need to know for vehicles. This is, this is kind of all over the place, but I mean, if you're just watching the whole thing, then everything should make sense. Next, let's talk about jobs. So now it's night time, which is kind of annoying, but we'll move. So the way you make money in Southwest Florida, I've got an in-depth tutorial on how to make money fast. So if you want to try, if you want to check that video out, it will be in the description below. It'll also be in the card in the top right right now. Basically, go watch that video after this. You learn how to make money fast. But in a nutshell, the way you make money is by going onto teams. Now to change team, you go onto the left where the little job icon is, little um, bag, briefcase sort of thing. Click that. And you're going to see all these jobs here. Now, it might be a bit intimidating to you, but don't worry about it. Basically, I'll talk about all these jobs real quick. So, the apartment concierge. Uh, some of these jobs, that basically just you stand there and earn money. You know, you don't really do anything. But the apartment concierge, concierge, I don't know how to say that. You kind of just stand behind a counter. Cafe worker, now that's actually just down here. Starblocks. Um, what will happen is you're behind a counter. You'll basically stand behind the counter. And what will happen is... You will get customers, like, not NPCs, just any player customer. They'll come over, you can serve them through the drive through through the little drive through In fact, I'll switch to the team and show you. So, let me go on to the cafe worker. So, here I am. Um, I can go in here. I can, I'm not, not going to go into too much detail. I can basically just, uh, you know, make coffee, do all that stuff. You'll have to learn yourself. You can serve people. So, we'll just say in the bottom left, give, drink to... And you'll be able to serve people. And basically, the more you stand there, the more you're in the game, you earn money. So I just earned $54 from that, from just standing in there. So yeah, in a nutshell, the way you get money in this game is by joining jobs and kind of standing in your workplace. As you can see, this has come up up here, and now I'm gaining $250 per minute, which is really, really good, to be honest. Personally, I'd say the best job to actually like be doing things in the game rather than just standing there because you're not always going to get customers. The best job is to be a firefighter or a rift driver. So obviously you know what a firefighter is, I hope. You put out fires, things like that. A rift driver, though, this is basically an Uber driver for NPCs. It's very, very interesting. So I'll show you real quick. So I'll get in my car. I'm currently a rift driver. And if you remember how to steer your car and stuff, get that all, all, all done. As you can see, I've got a little arrow to pick someone up, so 3,900 meters away. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the roads and drive there. You can see on the back, Rift Driver. What I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to drive down to this little arrow marker. And then NPC is going to be there waiting for me. And basically, I'll pick him up, take him to where he wants, and then that'll be it. But I th I'd say this is one of the most interactive jobs you can do, and you gain money for, for delivering people. Um, and yeah, if that makes sense. But I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm not going to complete this job. Let's kind of move on to some other things real quick. So the next thing is how to get a phone. Now, a phone is probably very important in this game as they're going to be updating them quite a bit. You're able to communicate with other players who have phones. Now, you can follow these markers, but I'm just going to teleport there. So um, what you can do is just click the job thing and go down to Vores and Employee. That's the phone team. Um, phones, very cheap, very cheap. Here we go, I'll come into this Warzone store. Now, to get a phone, obviously I'm not going to be able to get a phone, but to get a phone, you need to be in a public server, and basically an employee will get a phone, he'll bring it out to you, and you'll be able to, he'll be able to just give it to you, just like on the cafe team, how people can give you drinks. Well, they give you a phone, and you're able to just uh, click buy, and then you own it, but yeah, obviously I can't get it right now, but phones, that's how you get a phone. You go into the store, or get one of your friends to sell you one, and then you have a phone. All right, it's quite simple. Uh, to get houses, so if you want to learn how to get houses, this is quite easy as well. Uh, they're very expensive though, so maybe wait on houses. They're not really necessary. They do they do nothing. Um, housing areas, um, they're everywhere. So, um, if I just drive down here. Now, down here is probably the most expensive houses. These are the mansions, but basically, um, these houses are $750,000. You'll be able to get that sort of money from game passes i have a video on all game passes that can help you with money and stuff so be sure to go watch that i'm not going the right way right now but hey there's houses over there you just go up to it and you click buy there's a little sign outside you just click buy that's it 
So we've covered how to spawn in a car, how to buy cars, how to sort of make money on jobs, what jobs there are. Like I said, I'm not going to really go through everything and every location just because there's too much. Oh, by the way, if you want to fuel your car, you can go to a gas station like, like this. You go up to the, the gas pump, put some gas in your vehicle and you're good. And if you want to charge a vehicle, if you've got an electric vehicle, then there'll basically be like a little Tesla charging station like at a civilian spawn and stuff. So you just have to reset and there'll be one there. So yeah, that is going to be all for this video. It was kind of basic. If you have any questions at all, please do not be afraid to ask me. This video was meant for people who are literally brand new to the game. They don't know how to play. So I've showed you how to spawn in a car. Join jobs, things like that. Navigate the map. Hope this video helped you. If it did, please do consider subscribing, leaving a like. And yeah, see you in the next video.